Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 84 rated SBC Hatem Banafa. So in the 18 matches I played with this card, he managed to get me 7 assists from the cam and at centre mid position. As you can see, he's got the 4 star weak foot and the 5 star score moves. He's got the medium low work rates, he is left footed, and he is 5 foot 10 at tall. So overall, looking like a pretty decent cam. Now moving into the stats, as you can see, he's got the 82 acceleration, 87 shot power, 84 long shots, 94 penalties, 89 agility and 82 balance. Along with that he has 93 dribbling so he's very good when it comes down to skilling as you would expect. And overall this card was a big surprise to me, I really loved it and it felt so smooth for skilling. But anyway guys, this has been the in-game stats, now let's get into the highlights. So now moving into the highlights, the first thing I could find with Banafa, what is the pro, is his dribbling. Now this guy has 93 dribbling, what's also his key stat, and as you can see, when dribbling with the ball, he is very, very good. Can he easily beat players just using his dribbling? Even though he isn't the fastest of players, he keeps the ball really close to his feet and touch tight, so you know when ring plus players, it's really hard for him to get dispossessed. Along with this, he also has a very good strength. Even though it's only 75, in-game it feels a lot better in my opinion. Um, you know, he's able to win, you know, most shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder battles and sort of just push his way between defenders and um, what is very helpful and really good at you know obtaining the ball when at dribbling with it because he's not going to be pushed off the ball um, very often what's very helpful especially when scaling and then the final pro I could from this card was his long shots and again his long shots aren't really the best the 84 what again is good but it isn't really anything outstanding but his long shots just seem to be really good for me and I'm not really too sure why maybe he has like a hidden tray in game or something like that that makes his long shots really really good and then now moving into the con and this was a fairly big con with Banafa and that was his stamina this guy gets very tired very quickly I'd probably say sometime in the 50 or 60th minute you probably need to sub this guy off or just sort of you know move him into like a deeper role um, just because he can't run around the game run around the pitch for you know a whole um, 90 minutes without getting tired and exhausted that's the only big con with this con I guess but uh, apart from that he is very very good as you can see he's got the five star weak foot as well, sorry the five star skill moves and a four star weak foot so he can also finish on his weak foot as well very easily and just when it comes down to scaling this card was just a joy to use and just so so fun I feel like the you know the SBC cards that were released um, especially with the scalers EA did something special to them just because it's the end of the game and they just feel really good for scaling with um, but Narfa's card normally it's okay but I'm not really the keenest on it I haven't really used it too much to be honest um, but this card just felt like on another level when it came down to scaling it was so fluent so smooth and just so so good and again he's lacking that pace again but I wouldn't really put it as a con um, just because it is decent and it's around 79 and he does also have 82 acceleration so you know off the mark he's very quick but it's just once he reaches that top speed he doesn't really go much faster um, because he doesn't have the highest of sprint speeds but overall this card is a very very good so we, to finish off here we go on a really nice score and do a nice ball roll past the defender run it into the gap there do a nice ball roll to hocus pocus to the berbatov spin i tried to go for a heel, a heel, a heel to heel there um, but as you can see using his strength there to win the ball back go for a double touch spin go for the rainbow flick and then look at that a really nice finish so guys this has been the highlights now let's get into the overview so starting off the overview for 84 rated SBC Banatha on the enjoyment scale I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. The reason it isn't any higher is just because of that stamina but apart from that this card was very fun to use. Competitiveness wise again I think it would be pretty decent that's why I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. He's got really good finishing, really good long shots, pretty strong as well, nice dribbling, really good passing and you know just all around a very good card. And then the next category I'm going to judge him on is scaling Now I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. As I've already said this card is a very very good. And then I'm going to give my overall rating of an 8.5 out of 10. So guys, if you have enjoyed this player review and want to see more FIFA 18 videos on my channel, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.